High School number one. Then the Svan College number one. Nelson College number one. Canada College number one. Down inside the yellow boys, look out the far side. The pressure's going on the leader. Just Walker, Jack O'Leary, Tim Yaxley. All, uh, all featuring in the under 17 final last year. Here they go. All right, and they're away. And uh, we look across the bows of the boat. We're just sitting out about 20 metres from the start. And we can see that it's already Kavna College. Jack O'Leary just pushing his bow ahead as they go through the first 100 metres. And uh, then it's uh, Tim Yaxley from Southland Boys High School. And uh, Wellington College's Philip Wilson out here on the outside. But really, there's nothing in it. The only ones that are uh, perhaps dropping back a little bit at this stage, which can change dramatically, of course, is Francis Douglas uh, College out here in lane number seven. And uh, surprisingly, uh, Lindisfarne and uh, Nelson College down there on the inside. So Lindisfarne College, the uh, North Island uh, gold medalist, so we would expect him to improve. And uh, at the moment, it's uh, Tim Yaxley out here in lane number six, just by about a foot over Jack O'Leary out there in lane number four. Then go right across to uh, lane number one, Hugh Pawson, Wanganui High School. And... Uh, then come back into lane number five, which is James Walker of Timaru. Then go back to uh, Lindisfarne and Nelson. And then come back out to uh, Francis Douglas College and uh, Wellington College number one. So uh, we've gone about 400 metres. And as expected, uh, Jack O'Leary of Kavanagh College has uh, got himself in front, only by about uh, a canvas at this stage. And it's... Um, the three crews, the two crews outside of him. So it's uh, Timaru boys, James Walker, and Southland boys, Tim Yaxley, who uh, moved themselves out by about half a length over uh, Nelson College, Ollie Stevens, and then inside him is uh, Tom McIntosh and Hugh Pawson. That's Lindisfarne College and uh, Wanganui High School. And then come out to uh, Francis Douglas College, Corbin Porteous, and uh, Wellington College, Philip Wilson on the outside. So they've gone through 500 metres, and uh, the... Uh, Jack O'Leary just uh, it looks like he's just doing a little bit of a push. He's uh, not uh, hasn't got his rating up that much. We'll just see if we can uh, get a clock on him as we watch these other crews. So the just uh, Southland boys just drifting a little bit. Uh, he's uh, in third spot at the moment, but uh, now under a little bit of threat from uh, Nelson College, and uh, we've just got a clock on. Um, on Jack O'Leary, he's at 31 and a half, and he's just now just got clear water. So uh, Jack O'Leary, clear water over uh, over uh, Timaru Boys Highs, James Walker, and uh, then uh, Tim Yaxley still holding that third spot, but under pressure by Nelson College's Ollie Stevens. And uh, then look over there in lane number one to Hugh Pawson, come back to Lindisfarne College's uh, Tom McIntosh. And then out here in lane eight, Philip Wilson has uh, just improved a little bit to be uh, about a foot over uh, Corbin Porteous of Francis Douglas College. But uh, just see, um, see Kavna College, Jack O'Leary just moving away with every stroke. And uh, he's now got the length and a half over Timaru boys, James Walker, who in turn has almost a length over uh, lane number three, which is uh, Ollie Stevens and uh, Southland Boys High School's Tim Yaxley. Yaxley just about um, ooh, only a foot down on, uh, down on Nelson College. So uh, as we see, it's the, uh, the four South Islanders currently. And uh, then we go... Out back to the inside of the field and it's Lindisfarne College starting to improve so we would expect the North Island champion to be up there in the mix and then across to Wanganui High School number one and then uh, back out to Wellington College Philip Wilson and uh, then to Francis Douglas College Cor uh, Corbin Porteous they've already gone through a thousand so this, uh, this race is um, moving quickly and it's still uh, Jack O'Leary from uh, Kavna College and he's now gone out to a length and a half and in turn, um, uh, James Walker of Timaru Boys would have a similar margin over uh, Nelson College's Ollie Stevens. And uh, we've still got Tim Yaxley of Southland Boys just about a foot down on Stevens. But the big improver out here on the outside of the course is uh, Philip Wilson of, uh, Nel of Wellington College. And he's now within a half a length of, uh, of Yaxley, who just looks across and he can see... Uh, 
the, um, the Nelson College sculler on his inside and just see him pushing the legs down a little bit faster, looking to get back up on, uh, on Nelson College. So he's actually now doing a bit of a move, but there's no doubt about uh, the leader. It's Kavna College, and he's still maintaining that stroke rate of about uh, 31, 32. And uh, then it's back to uh, James Walker, who uh, is still maintaining about a length and a half. And as we look across, we can still see that it's um, Nelson College's Oli Stevens. He's maintaining about a half a length over Tim Yaxley, who in turn would have a similar margin over Wellington College out here on the outside. Then go back down on the inside to Lindisfarne and uh, Wanganui High School, then come back to Francis Douglas's Corbin Porteous. But um, the lead hasn't changed, and we're just... Uh, Looking to come into the last, uh, there's about to 550 metres left to run, and it's still Jack O'Leary. Jack O'Leary out of the Otago Ryan Club, Kavna College, is uh, leading this field, but it looks like uh, he's now ju uh, just uh, James Walker now looking to put a little bit of pressure, and James has got up to just over a length, so he's made a half a length up as they go through for 500 metres left to run. And it's still uh, Nelson College down there on the inside. He's got himself well established in the bronze medal uh, position and has lifted his strike rate. So if he actually is going to get up for the bronze medal, he's got a bit of work to do because uh, there's now clear water between him and the Nelson College sculler and uh, he's under pressure from uh, Philip Wilson of Wellington College. Wellington College now pushing up on Yaxley from Southland Boys and in fact has gone ahead by about a canvas. But uh, look back to uh, the leader. There's no doubt about it. It's Kavna College, Jack O'Leary. And uh, he's got back to a length and a half over Timaru Boys High School's James Walker, who in turn will have a similar margin over uh, Nelson College's Ollie Stevens. And uh, then it's out to uh, Wellington College out here on the outside. And Tim Yaxley, who uh, realises that he's got something to do. And he's just lifted his stroke rate a little bit. And he's getting back up on even terms with Wellington College, who in turn sees the challenge coming and he's lifted his stroke rate. They're inside the last 250. They're inside the Yellow Boys. They're going for the Doctor. And it's uh, Kavna College out in front who has extended his lead to uh, two lengths. And then it's uh, James Walker of Timaru Boys. And then it's Nelson College. And these two out on the outside are now starting to put some pressure on Nelson College. So it's still Wellington College in fourth spot by the nearest of margin over Yaxley. I think the finish line might become a bit too soon if they're going to try and claim that bronze medal position. But let's not take it away from Kavna College. Jack O'Leary out in front, then it's Timaru Boys, then it's uh, Nelson College, but we've got a fast finishing Wellington out here on the outside. Yaxi, I think you can count him out. We can see the boy from Nelson. He's looked across. He's seeing Wellington coming. Nelson's going to have to pick it up. Nelson's still going for the Dr. Wellington coming on the outside. But it's Kevna College. Kevna College will take it. Timaru Boys will take second. And I think Nelson will hang on for third. Then it'll be Wellington. Then it'll be Southland Boys. Then we'll go right down on the inside to Linda's Farm. Then we'll come out here to lane number seven, which is Francis Douglas. And then we'll go down to uh, Wanganui High School number one. Medals now for the boys under 18 single skulls. This event is proudly sponsored by our principal sponsor, Aon New Zealand. The winner of the bronze medal from Nelson College, Ollie Stevens. And Ollie is coached by John Robinson and his time 723.97. My apologies, Ollie. The winner of the silver medal for the boys under 18 single skulls from Timaru Boys High, James Walker. And James is coached by Brian Smith, his time 723.56. Silver medal winner, James Walker from Timaru Boys High. And now the Aon New Zealand Secondary Schools Boys Under 18 Single Skull Champion for 2014 from Kavanagh College, Jack O'Leary. And Jack is very well coached by John Parnell, his time, 718.52. We'll ask Russell, please, to hand over the Charlie Stapp Cup and the winner's T-shirt. Congratulations, Jack O'Leary from Kavanagh College.